How do and welcome back. A little bit of a different camera angle today because I'm experimenting with my uh, my new mobile phone. So I'm hoping the, the picture quality is good and the sound is good. I'm just using the uh, the camera microphone. So uh, oh that I haven't shown you my uh, the camera I usually usually use have I? Let me just uh, get it from over here. This is the setup I. I normally use and as you can see it's got a nice big microphone and uh, it's a really decent camera but in about two hours I'm in a taxi and we're going on holiday for a week we're going to uh, Berlin well not a week about five days and I plan to try if I can to take some videos whilst I'm there so uh, I thought I'd just make a quick video today and just check everything's working and, and where I'm meant to be looking, where's the lens, it's, you know, uh, and just make sure the sound's okay. And I thought I'd do the review of Admiral's Reserve. This is part of the Woodford's Wherry, uh, sorry, the Woodford's Norfolk beer C series that I'm doing. Uh, this is a 5% premium ale. And yes, as you can see behind me, I bought their homebrew kit version. And as soon as I get home, I'll be putting this kit on. In fact, I'm, because I'm all packed, we're all packed, we're ready to go. I might be able to squeeze in half an hour just to put this kit on before I go and get it on the go. But we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I've got the kit version and uh, we'll be doing a side-by-side -side review of it next month. This month we're going to do a taste test. Uh, this is the Admiral's River Reserve Premium Ale, five percent ABV. So let's open it and let's see what it tastes like. There we go. Okay, a nice two finger head there, nice and frothy, nice level of carbonation coming up the glass, and it's a copper colour, a nice copper colour. The aroma, not much of an aroma to be honest, a little bit of malt there. Maybe a little bit of uh, an earthy note, some metallic. But uh, yeah, not actually getting that much from the aroma. Mind you, it is it is a bit chilled. Uh, it's been out in the garage now for a few days and the temperature has gone right back down to about eight degrees during the day. Uh, so at night time, this is getting really chilled. So maybe it's a little bit over chilled. It'll maybe give some more aroma once it warms up a bit. Anyway, let's go in for the taste. The Woodford's Admiral's Reserve. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Big on the malt. Nice. Uh, Toffee caramel, that's the first thing you taste. Very lightly hot. And it's got like a little bit of a prickly bitterness at the back end. And the transition is very good. Yeah, it's nice. Maybe a little bit too fizzy for me. The carbonation does seem to fizz a little bit in the mouth and I'd wished for this style of beer it had been a bit softer especially given those nice rich there's some fruit in there the toffee I just wish it had been a little bit less on the carbonation but still a decent beer still nice body wise though for me for a reserve don't forget this is reserved it's a little bit on the light side. 
uh, light to medium. I would have liked perhaps a bit more body. I'm, com I'm thinking about another beer, which is called Abbott Reserve. Remember the Abbott Ale? Well, they also do a reserve version. And, and that seems to have a bit more, it's a bit more full and it's a bit more richer. This is a little bit on the light side. And even the flavour, I find, is a little bit on the light side. Although it's a nice flavour and it's rich, it's just light. A bit like the aroma. Let me just try and shake this up a bit and see if we can get some aroma from it. Ah, now we're getting some. Yeah, the warmth in the hands and that shaking. Very similar to the uh, to the taste. Now you're getting some of that caramel coming through. Just to balance out a little bit of that earthiness I smelt before. Right, okay. So this is the beer. It's a nice beer. It's a box standard bit. <laughs> it's a very pleasant one though. Uh, and we'll have to wait and see next month how the kit compares to it. Uh, the Nelson's in the bottle. So we'll, I'll be reviewing that uh, when I get home next week, side by side. Uh, and we'll have to wait and see how this compares as well. So far, only the Wherry, I, I think, has been uh, spot on. The Nog was... It was a nice beer, and there were some similarities, but it was too sweet. Didn't have that charriness, that roasted charred taste. So we'll have to wait and see what the Nelson tastes like uh, in just over a week from now. And then next month we'll see how this kit compares to the uh, commercial version. Very nice. Right, so I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this video. I might just, I think I've still got time. I can put it on the computer, quick edit, upload, uh, before I have to get into the taxi. We're all packed, so there's nothing really much more to do. Uh, so I'll see if I can edit on the computer. But uh, on the plane, I might just have a play around editing on the phone as well and try and try and learn how to do that, because, of course, I'm hoping I can upload as well whilst I'm in Germany, make some videos, taste their beers, do some beer reviews of German, well, I suppose the Pilsners and wheat beers and things like that. And I can upload them straight away uh, from the phone. I may even do a live stream. I don't know if I can though. I don't have enough subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, hit that, hit that subscribe button and... Uh, Maybe I can do some live streaming from Berlin. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, I'm going to enjoy this. And then I'm going to go and enjoy my holiday. Whatever you're doing, I hope you have a great day. Uh, and as always, I'll see you again in the next video. Which should be from Berlin. Bye-bye for now.